Everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we have an iPhone 14. This is the purple one, and we're going to show you how to change the language. So this is especially important if you have your phone set in a language you can't read. I'm going to show you how to actually find where to change it and switch it back, even if you can't read it. So okay, let's first do it in English, and uh, then we'll come back, change the language, and try it again in a foreign language. So basically, you want to find the settings menu, and if you can't find it because it's not in English. Just look for this concentric gears. This is the default position, so it might be somewhere else on your phone, but look for this icon. So click on that, and then you want to find general. So that's the third section down, and it's also a gear. So click on that, and now you have to find language and region. So that might be hard if it's not in English. So it's not the first section, not the second section, third section, it's the fourth section. And this one has VPN device management. Even if it's in a foreign language, this probably will still say VPN. So anyway, so it's the fourth section down, second from the bottom, one above VPN. So language and region. And then here now you have whatever languages have been programmed in that phone to be like the default ones to switch between. So these can be changed by just clicking on these little bars here and then dragging it up and down. So if English is, say, the second one and you want to switch it to English, you could just drag it up and then let it go. And that will basically like reset the language. So if English or whatever language you're aiming for is not there, then you want to click on Add Language, which is this one. And then you can pick from many, many things. And you can also type in. So let's say I want to do Chinese. And so the problem is, like, if you don't have, if it's a sentence like Cyrillic, how do you type Chinese in Cyrillic? Good question. Um, I think typing Chinese in English would probably still work, but we'll see. So anyway, let's uh, do Chinese traditional Hong Kong. And now if you click on that, it asks if you want to change the whole phone into that or you just want to have English in this case, which was our set language before, still stay in there. So if we just do that one, it updates, but it doesn't actually change the phone. So now we're back at that top menu under language and region. And in this case, it put Chinese in this third place. So now let's actually change it to Chinese by doing it this way. And just by putting it here, it says applying the setting will restart your phone. It doesn't actually reboot your phone. It just sort of resets it. And so this says it's now setting. And here we are. This is resetting the phone or restarting the phone. So now Chinese is first, English is second, and that's actually Japanese third. So yeah, here's the phone in Chinese. Okay, so now let's get to the case where you've received a brand new phone that you just bought off eBay, and for some reason it's in Chinese, and you need to set it back to English. So, again, look for that gear. should be here, but it might be somewhere else if they've moved it. Uh, so click on this guy, and now you have to find general again, which, again, is this gear here. Click on that. And now you have to find language and settings. Well, it doesn't say that in English anymore. So how can you find it? Well, again, one, two, three, four, and here's VPN in the fifth spot. So in the fourth section, it's second from the bottom, and that actually says language and region. So if you can, if it's in Chinese and you need to find what it is, it's actually that one, Yu Yen uh, Di Chu. Uh, so yeah, now we have the language list again here. So if you see English here, just drag it to the top. If you don't see English, you have to add it again. Then click on this one, which is the add language link. And here you should see, you know, because these are all written in their native language. So this is like Vietnamese. This is, I don't know, Norwegian or something. Um, so no matter what, this should probably say English UK and English US and whatever. So since English US is already in that list, it doesn't show up here. But let's say we're going to add Spanish. So now it asks me in the current language, which is Chinese, do you want to use Spanish or do you still want to use Chinese Hong Kong edition? So let's just say that. And now Spanish is added to that list. And uh, so let's actually drag this up and the phone should switch to Spanish. And so it still says English and then English. So I guess if I go here, yeah, it still says English no matter what, I guess. Okay, so let's cancel R and go back and switch it to English and 
setting language and this luckily only takes a second and if you want to delete any of these languages click on edit and let's get rid of espanol i don't need that one and i guess i don't i think it added automatically cantonese because i used hong kong chinese so sometimes you'll get two languages for adding one so anyway there we are and even removing this as a secondary option resets the phone so that's back to english so that's how you change the language on an iphone 14 and surprise surprise actually the same on a 14 pro and a 14 pro max and i think anything running ios 15 and above will be pretty much the same until they change it in the newer version okay so that's it for today see you guys next time check out our other videos for the iphone 14 and the 14 pro and the 14 pro max coming soon okay bye Everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we have a hot off the presses iPhone 13 Pro Max dual physical SIM Hong Kong version. And today I'm going to show you how to insert and remove.